I'm Raf and I drive uh, a 2016 uh, Volkswagen Golf R manual. <laughs> The mods on my car, pretty much cosmetic, most of them. Um, as you can see, Mark 7 and a half tail lights, the um, center exit exhaust, um, custom pipe by uh, Cast System Motorsports. I have a um, an AWE tuning uh, down pipe catted stage two tune by E Tuners. Uh, I have VMR wheels powder coated with. Uh, pine brass. Uh, it's uh, the V803, 19 inch. Um, uh, most of them are pretty small mods, like the spoiler extension there. You can see um, the um, uh, the bumper cover right here. So it's pretty much small mods in the car. Nothing really fancy, except the center exit exhaust, of course. I'm planning on having it wrapped or maybe auto dip. Eh, can't decide which color yet, maybe blue, yellow, orange. Uh, whatever my mood is when I'm ready. Uh, I'm gonna get new wheels again and probably straighten the engine more because it's stage two now. Maybe get some uh, um, Get some more uh, things to threaten the engine and the, um, the mounts and other things like that. When I was a kid, actually, I loved cars. So when I was a kid, my mom would always tell me, like, what car is that? Tell me what car is that? I was like three or four years old. I could tell by the lights of the car at night what type of car it is when I was three years old. So I really loved cars when I was since when I was a kid but I started late in the modding you know in modding cars because when I came here um, when I came here in the United States I'm not we don't have that much money so I started late I started late I started uh, when I was able to afford it myself started maybe 10 years ago I started with um, with a uh, uh, Master Speed 3 and then after that I had the 2011 WRX. After that, I bought a 15 GTI, which sadly was a lemon. And then I went back to Subaru, got an STI, but I wasn't satisfied with it. And I got this car. This is the car basically that had the most mods for me. Um, and I'm planning on keeping it for a while because um, when I first brought it to the Dragon, that's when it started. That's when it started, the love affair with the car. Uh, I started modding the suspension, started modding, um, getting wider wheels, better tires. Um, so basically what's gonna happen uh, in the future for this car is uh, getting it more uh, stable maybe, and you know, putting the power to the ground more, I mean better, I mean. For those who know me, I'm actually not a Volkswagen fan. <laughs> Although I have a Volkswagen hat and a Volkswagen car. But ever since maybe like 15 years ago, I started looking at Volkswagen. I had a love and hate relationship with them. Every time I see one, I kind of like it. But when I'm ready to buy it, I'm just not pulling the trigger to get one until I bought one. Uh, it wasn't a pleasant experience because it was a lemon and then uh, I got this car. But what I'm really interested in are BMWs. Um, next car would be, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe an M2, maybe, uh, maybe the, uh, the G, G chassis M3 when it comes out, maybe two to three years from now. So, and I'm planning on, planning on doing a European delivery too. So I could drive it all the way, uh, all around in Europe well, all around Germany, basically, in the Autobahn and basically push the car. Love and hate relationship with the car, uh, with Volkswagen, but I mostly love the car. Like, uh, like what I was mentioning, when I brought it to the Dragon, that just cemented the, uh, that cemented the, um, 
cemented Volkswagen for me that I really like the car and I'm gonna keep it. Um, it's, um, it's a perfect daily. It's, uh, it's soft enough for you to daily the car and it will be enough too um, when you want to push the car. Let's say if you go to a, 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 a road like the Trail of the Dragon or any twisties where you bring it and it will perform well in there even though it's you know it's not uh, it's not as performance much more performance oriented compared to maybe Ford Focus RS or or uh, or maybe an STI or uh, or um, or the Type R when you bring it to the track the Civic Type R but it's it's a pretty well balanced car um, what I hate right now is just when I daily it, it's just too loud. <laughs> but but you know what? It's it's a it's a trade-off because the sound is just crazy on this one. And I love how uh, James from Cast System Motorsports, you know, I love I love what he did with it, and it's uh, really pretty cool. Or basically because it's all-wheel drive. Um, I had a GTI before, like I said, also a Mark 7. Uh, I'm just not satisfied. Even though it was lemon, I liked the car, but I wasn't satisfied with it because um, even with stock power, you will definitely slip. It's definitely just not gonna put the power to the ground. Unlike, unlike if you have an all wheel drive car, um, you'll be able to. That's why I bought the R. Well, I like the, uh, I like the Volkswagen group, basically, the Volkswagen people. Um, they're it's not just a Mark 7, uh, Mark 7 crew. Um, a lot of the Volkswagen people that I meet are, are, are pretty nice people. They're not as immature as maybe the, the um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> or, or um, and uh, some of them are really, you know, really not that great, but yeah, that's that's what I mostly like about the Volkswagen crew. There are a lot of really nice people in there. Hmm. What advice? Well, if ever you want to go into modding your car, just make uh, basically just, uh, just do yeah, just do whatever makes you happy with the car. Um, like I said, just don't do, just don't overdo it at a point that you can't, um, you can't keep up with it anymore. So just, just like, you know, just, just do whatever makes you happy with your car. <laughs>